setting aside the last couple of drives, you guys really forced them to throw the football. What did you guys do so well on your run defense that, that, that made them so one dimensional? Um, it's just everyone being on the same page. You know, we we trained for it. We knew we had to stop the run. Everyone being on the same page, uh, we were able to get it done, uh, get them into throwing the ball a little more. Did you, did you get a sense they were confused by some of the movements you guys were making up front, and that helped you guys to, to get free for tackles? Um, yeah, for sure. There's uh, there's things about this defense that can make it confusing for the offense to um, see, and uh, I think that definitely helped out. How did things change when Ty went out? Um, honestly, they, they didn't change. It was uh, there's the next man up mindset. Uh, the other guys in the room were ready to go, and uh, they played they played their hearts out, and um, it was really fun to see uh, how everyone came together after Ty went out of the game. And spirits, I mean, the spirits didn't change. Everyone was ready to go. What do you see out of this team? Just the spirit. I mean, it, it hurts to lose a game like this. But what did you see in the locker room from guys that I guess? Gives you hope going forward. Um, yeah, no. The, I mean, the first game, it's uh, it's when you're going to make your most mistakes, and uh, it's a lot to learn from. And we'll just uh, get in, watch it, and uh, correct the mistakes, and uh, move on to next week. How do you think some of those those young guys who are playing some of their first college snaps uh, stacked up around you? I know you got to look at the film, but what was yeah, no. I think uh, some of those younger guys in the room played really well, um, really well. Obviously, there's going to be things to fix, but uh, yeah, we'll have to get in and watch it. Getting home a little more in the second half. What do you feel like changed? Do you get a little more pressure? Um, I just I think it was it helped having guys to rotate in, keeping us fresh and uh, uh, get, keeping us fresh and ready to rush the passer in the second half. Is that a pass rush move that you would that you had in your repertoire last year or two years ago? What was that? Is that was that a pass rush move you had in your repertoire a couple of years ago when you went and got that sack? Um, yeah. I mean, it's just like I uh, say every time. I mean, these trying to get better every day, perfecting my craft, um, working. Working every day. What, if anything, did you sense on the final, the final two drives, um, the momentum, or what, whatever did you see? Um, the side? Yeah, no, guys were locked in. Minnesota's a good team. We knew we had to be locked in the whole time, and um, we, yeah, we, they were what they were. Most of the second half, you guys were getting off the field. You had three and outs after both both scores for the offense. Things seemed to be working. You had a sack that ended a drive. Was, was there anything? <coughs> Anything at all on either side of the line of scrimmage that you saw changed uh, on the last two possessions? Um, no, I mean it's just um, no. I, I, no. Anything else for Nash? What do you have to tell your teammates now, especially a lot of young guys that haven't experienced this before, how to how to rebound and get going for Colorado? Um, just get ready to work next week. It's uh, we're gonna watch this tape, put it in the past, and get ready for next week. Well, we'll learn from it. That's. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Nash.